Hello my beautiful cosmic siblings, welcome to this reading. In this reading we're going to speak about what the astrologers refer to as the luckiest day of the year. So you really want to hear this. And it is on May the 18th, 2024. Today is May the 17th. So what I'm going to do is in this reading, I'm going to give you a general idea of what is currently happening, you know, on May the 17th with the moon still in Virgo. And then we are looking at tomorrow, May the 18th, the luckiest day of the year. And then I'm going to timestamp it for you so that you can also look at the readings and see how it individually affects your specific zodiac energy. Now, to really, really benefit optimally from this reading, you want to go, so you can either listen to the whole thing, which, you know, it's always going to give you a lot more than you expect probably. But what you definitely want to look at is the reading for your sun, which is your zodiac energy, your expression, your moon, which is your emotions, and especially your rising, also called your ascending, because that is how you start new things. That is all about new beginnings. And you really want to know how to optimally utilize the benefits that this luckiest day of the year 18 May 2024 energy is bringing your way. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to explain to you a little bit around all of that. You want to listen to this and then you can either afterwards listen to everything or you can go to the um, you can go to the timeline zodiac energy. That is, you know, the message just for you. So welcome to the video. My name is Adrian Nelson. I am a psychic medium, born intuitive. I help people to discover their magic, to build on it, to expand on it, to maintain it, to benefit from it. And I'm just very, very happy that I get to live the life that I live. And I'm very happy that I get to share with you. So if it's your first time here, I would like to welcome you. And if you are coming back, then I would like to welcome you back to this beautiful community of love, of light that is all created and maintained with your best interest in mind. All right. So if you haven't yet subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Remember to hit the all notifications, like the video, and I always look forward to your comments. Let me know in the comments, let everybody know in the comments, let the universe know in the comments. What is that new, next, wonderful, best thing that you are looking forward to? Look how the sun is shining there on my hand. Isn't that beautiful? The light of life. All right. So I'm going to start off by drawing for you a card from the beautiful monology messages oracle. I use this for my three-day full moon sacred journeys, which I do. And the next one is 22 till 24 May. For this month, it is on a donation basis. There is more information in the description if you are interested. So this is quite a beautiful card, and it says dark side of the moon, mystery. Now, when we think of dark side of the moon, we think of mystery, we think, oh, bollocks, I think are going to go bad again. Why do things need to go bad? This is about positively influxing energy for you. So if you are open to wonderful, amazing energy to come your way, if you are open to life just getting better and better for you all the time, then this is your energy, then this is your moment, this is what you want. All right, so let me just quickly explain to you everything around this energy so you've got an understanding of what is going on, why it is called the luckiest day of the year. You know, and, and that is the thing with astrology, um, we want to know why. You know, why, 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 why? Because the why gives you all the other answers that you want to have. So, if you are looking at this today or you just want to reflect back, May the 17th, the moon is still in Virgo. So, the moon moves really, really fast. You know, the moon changes sort of like zodiac energies all the time as it's obviously orbiting around the Earth and the Earth orbiting around the sun along with all the other planets. All right? So, the moon is an energy that does change quite fast all right so the moon in virgo energy it's a very um it's about emotional responses it's a very sort of powerful reflecting sort of energy it's all about getting your house in order so um you know about five days ago well five to four days ago four days ago um at this point we had um we basically the sun was meeting uranus in the sky which is aquarius energy and it's called the most surprising day of the year, basically. That's how it will be referred to that particular energy. And that's a bit of a roller coaster energy. So you may have found that this past week, 
has been a little bit overwhelming. It's been roller coasting. It has been draining. It has been crazy. Things that you thought wouldn't go wrong has gone wrong. You know, for example, in my own personal life, I was getting very despondent with things that I need to do. That's why you haven't seen me online a lot. My dog got very, very sick. All of a sudden, he just had this diarrhea and it was literally uncontrolled stools at like one o'clock and three o'clock in the morning, you know. Um, and so obviously that had me very, very concerned. But then today with the moon in Virgo, where things are more flowing, of course, I took the dog to the vet and everything like that, you know, gave him break and everything. Um, but then <laughs> I never thought in my life I would be so excited to see a dog defecating solid poo. You know, so this morning when I took him out for his walkie, it was like a light drizzle and it, um, he had like solid poop for the first time in days. And I was like, yay, and I was literally dancing around the field like a psycho and people were probably thinking, you know, what is that crazy dude doing? But, you know, today is the day where things are going back in flow again. If you're looking at this today on the 17th, but whenever you really look at it, it's also a very good day to reflect on how far you've come in life, to really see how you've grown from like a child to where you are now. You know, for example, I grew up um, very sort of impoverished in a sense, really, you know. So it's really, really great. I woke up this morning without even thinking about all of this. I woke up this morning. I looked around at my life. I looked around at my living space. And I said to myself, I am really, really divinely blessed. You know, there are many things that I need to figure out. There are things that I'm not uncertain about, but I am still really incredibly divinely blessed. Then today is really a day where you kind of just get that. And that goes into tomorrow as well. Because remember, even though I'm giving you specific dates, these energies are a little bit more fluid. That is also why with my full moon as well as the new moon journeys, I will start a day before the actual full moon or new moon on the day and the day after to really, um, I would say, optimally utilize and benefit from that positive energy of that particular zodiac unfolding. So if you're interested in that beautiful, beautiful energy, I, I got this oracle deck because I draw you a card for everybody individually. You know, I draw your tarot card. I send you some guided meditation sessions for this particular one on the day of the full moon. I'm going to do a beautiful Sanskrit Indian chant. I'm so excited about it. It's going to be beautiful. So I sent you, I pre-recorded and I sent you the links, you know, so you can do it at your own leisure and your own benefit. So four days ago at this point, you know, with the sun meeting Uranus in the sky, which is Aquarius energy, there is that energy, um, when you think of a typical Aquarius, typical Aquarius energy, you know, they're going to come in, they're going to see what is not working, they're going to do the deep clean, they're going to do the hard work, they're going to really take a look at things, they're going to allow themselves to feel what it feels like, you know. Um, before they sort of like just jump into something new and jump into something next. Aquarius likes to have clarity about what it is that they're doing, where it is that they're going next, what it is that they're leaving behind, what are the actual details. So that is why you've been feeling a lot of those energy. Um, but this energy has actually been really, really great because this energy, even though it was very, very roller coaster, it was really meant to get you where your soul needs to be. You know, and, and, and with that, and, and this is also what really makes this sort of 18 May energy going over the next two to three days, what makes it really, really so cool, because it is an energy where things can change really, really fast. You know, you can have all sorts of blessings and options and awareness come into your, like, into your space of life. Here's the thing, though. Typical, typical Aquarius. <laughs> it's not what you expect it to be. So it's going to be different from what you expect it to be, all right? Um, but you might even find yourself feeling better, you know, starting today, maybe yesterday already, making better choices and even being open to making better choices. But you know what? A lot of time in life, almost like at New Year's, you know, everybody's got all these resolutions, they're going to live better and we're going to live healthier, and it never really typically gets to that. This is one of those energies where you wake up and you realize, oh, I need to do this and this and that, and there's actually a very natural sort of follow-through. So that is really, really cool. All right? Um, now... So let's let's move away from that and let's move to this 18 May energy specifically. Okay, so this is Jupiter energy. So it's the energy Jupiter energy is the, is known as the energy of good luck. 
So when you sort of like, now, now there's a lot of, lot of, lot of things that come into play here. But when you typically read somebody's astrological chart, you want to understand where the Jupiter is at. So, you know, when you do a natal chart, which is something that I'm very excited about doing, and I pre-recorded because, and it's quite long, it's like, you know, like, I'd like to, I like to do things detailed. I don't believe in breadcrumbing people, so a natal chart reading with me, normally pre-recorded, can be anything from around two and a half, even possibly more hours, you know, because you want to know where's your Jupiter placement, what does it mean for you, what does it entail for you, you know, how naturally lucky you will be in your life, how you might struggle with certain things, how you may sabotage yourself. Then, of course, we bring other things in there as well, like your Mars and those type of things, how you fight, how you make peace, how you sabotage yourself. But just as a general overall energy, Jupiter is a good luck like, energy. Um, it's, it's, it's quite a good energy specifically for Sagittarius and Pisces at the moment, um, you know, with this 18 May energy, because that's more sort of like a ruling energy. The thing to remember that is very, very important with this Jupiter energy, because it's more sort of like an earth bounty sort of feel energy, is that you have to be proactive about what it is that you want. And what I mean when I say that you have to be proactive is that if you want a different change of direction in your life or anything like that, even though a lot of clarity is coming to you and a lot of options are coming to you and things unfold maybe differently to how you anticipate, if you are looking for a new job, then this is a space where instead of just you know, saying I want a new job, you might want to go scroll through some things. You might want to become more specific about what it is that you want. You might want to amend your affirmations. You might want to look at the company that you keep. You might want to look at the words that you speak. You might want to start a vision board for it. You want to might start to start put out some applications, you know, um, update your resume. Um, yeah, like, like really get very proactive about what it is that you want to do. Now, here's the thing with that, and this is very important to know, is that so... You are asked to, by the universe, you're strongly encouraged to be proactive, to make a plan, to have a vision. And I want you to think of this vision as giving the universe bullet points on which it can expand. So it's very, very important if there was ever a day when it was important, May the 18th, 2024, it is really, really important. Um, you know, where the sun conjuncts Jupiter, which is all about new beginnings, it's really, really amazing. Um, you want to have a specific idea for what it is that you want, how it is that you want to feel, how it is that you want to experience it. Really place your mind around how it's going to feel when you no longer have the concern that is currently bothering you. But, and this is important, do not be set and committed and hell-bent on this is how it must be. Because then you do the first part right, but the second part might be holding you back. All right? Um... So, yeah, so just really don't hold on to things. And again, in this reading, you really want to look at your sun sign, which is your normal zodiac sign, which is your star sign or your horoscope sign, all different names for the same thing. You want to look at your moon sign, because emotions is typically what creates certain thoughts and feelings and, you know, um, vibrations, and it determines what we align with. And then, of course, your rising energy. If you don't know what those are, um, I am going to put a link in the description, I'm just writing it down, otherwise I'm going to forget. I'm putting a link in the description where you can go and get a free, it's, it's basic, but it's detailed enough, you know, breakdown of where these different energies are for you. All right. So, got my tarot cards in my prayer box. So what I'm going to do is, um, and this is the part that's going to be timestamped. So I am going to explain to you a little bit about what is going on with the energy already in any case and um, then I'll draw a tarot card for you for that all right please remember that these um, these readings are still general so take them as they resonate but I find that these are more they give you more than just tarot it kind of gives you the best of both worlds because tarot and astrology actually really really walk hand in hand together very very closely all right let's start so Aries, so Aries, this is a good time for you for that, and I'm specifically speaking about May the 18th, this is a great time for you for the flow of money, you might be feeling very generous, you might feel like you have it to give it, um, and, and that is really, really cool, there are some really, really amazing feelings that are coming up for your real sense of lightness, because remember this energy is very much like a, 
like a reset, like a new beginning, Aries. And you are that reset. You are that beginning. You are the beautiful January of the Zodiac. Okay. And you have got the three of swords, my beautiful, beautiful Aries. So this is a space of moving on. This is a space that lets you know that you are ready to move on. That you don't have to hold on to the heartache, to the past, to the hurt, you know. And I feel that you're pretty much over it, you know. So there may have been a lot of things that were sort of difficult to deal with. They have been very overwhelming. It may have taken you quite a minute to get to where you currently are, my beautiful Aries. But now is the time for you to allow yourself to be free and to flow and um, I, I really don't get anything like you want to be responsible with money and stuff like that, for example. So if you've got it and you know in your own logical consciousness that you can give it, that you can share it, that even if you give it, you know, you might not get it back from the specific person, but you'll get it back in a different way. If you are open to that, if you are happy with that, then now is your time to go ahead and do that. Taurus. Taurus, we're looking a lot at um, sort of like matters of change here. This is a time where it's really, really important for you to be to be honest with yourself. All right. Identity comes quite strongly into play uh, for you. Um, you might. This is quite. This, I mean, it, it sounds a little glum when I say this, but you know, or the way that I explain it, but actually, Taurus, this is a really good time for you. You know, this is a really, really good time for you. This is a very breakaway time for you. Um, and this is a time for you to really, really prioritize that which is important to you, you know. And when I say what is important to you, so let's imagine you've got your own business and you've been working really, really hard and you haven't allowed yourself to have enough fun for example then now is the time to actually have some fun now is the time to give yourself a break the sun is shining quite terribly on this recording i do apologize for that all right so this is a space source where things can really really change and they can change really really fast but um it's also a space where when something comes to you you know what you might sometimes do is you might not want to give anybody offense so you might just say yes when you actually want to say no this is a time to be honest to your heart all right, then you've got the Eight of Pentacles energy. So, Taurus, this is a time for you to do your own thing. All right, do your own thing, do what makes you happy, do what you feel you are meant to do. Okay, Gemini. Gemini, I, I love this energy for you at the moment because this is really a time of closing karmic ties. So, Gemini, things have not been easy for you. You may have made it seem easy. But things have really not been easy to you. I feel a real sense of bravery that's coming about to you. There is a real sense of connection with love and faith and purpose and new beginnings and the future. So it's, it's, it's really like you're coming up for air, Gemini, which is a really, really good thing. You know, there's a deeper connection where a lot of times, you know, people will say that Gemini is very flaky. This is a time where you're actually sort of stepping forward and you're quite solid about things, you know. And it's quite interesting because this is a time where if people are looking for direction, they're typically looking at you. Four of Swords, okay. Four of Swords is almost like a, it's almost like a religious sort of experience, you know. There's something very special, something very profound about it. And it's letting you know that you are ready to go to that next level. So you are ready to really wake up, my beautiful, beautiful Geminis, into a better way of living and being. That's quite nice. Cancer. All right, so Cancer. Um, cancer, this is a space where um, you might find that you are operating and thinking and reasoning differently to how you would typically do. You know, um, there's new bonds, new alliances that are being formed here. And that could mean, it, it can actually go pretty much both ways. It could either be that you connect with new beings, new people coming into your life, new connections. So you want to be open to considering options that you would have never considered before. So to give you an idea, I have to move. And I'm the kind of person who typically likes to live on my own. Me and my dog, leave us alone. It's just the two of us. But then I actually got this option of um, a house share with some older people. You know, I quite have quite a private space. I thought to myself, well, that sounds quite interesting. You know, so Cancer, you want to kind of open yourself to those possibilities. And um, 
you know, so if you have been set on it must be like this, then you might want to open yourself to different ways. This is a space with the changes that you might start uniting with certain groups um, or sort of like people that were acquaintances. They're becoming really close friends now. But this is also a space of leaving certain groups, leaving certain dynamics. OK, so it goes both ways. It is a. Uh, I think to make a long story short, it is a time that you are going into beautiful cancer where things are getting easier for you. Leo. Leo, this is a really, really good time for you. Leo, this is a space where um, career and social life and social standing and purpose and value and meaning, all of those things are very profoundly stepping forward, my beautiful Leos. So if you have been feeling for a while there that you are just running, you know, the mill and it's so boring and nothing is happening, then this could actually be a very, very good time for you. All right. This is also a time for you, my beautiful, beautiful Leos, to go for new things. So if you want to apply for a new job, you want to apply for a mortgage, you want a loan, you want to start a job, you want to register anything, um, maybe you go for an interview or something like that. You know, this is a really, really good day and a really, really good space for that. Now, for this, now, this doesn't necessarily mean that, say, for example, you go for the interview that you get the job, but you might get something that is so amazing, that is so completely unexpected and so completely different from what you expected, but it's still really, really amazing, okay? So that is really, really cool, all right? And um, let's see for you, Leo. So what energy do we get there for you? You have got the temperance energy, which is the energy of new beginnings or, or rather expansion, my beautiful Leos. And this is also a beautiful energy that lets you know no matter where you go, um, there are quite beautiful things for you to look you know, forward to within that particular space. All right. I see that I didn't draw a tarot card for cancer, but I suppose that is just the way that it's meant to be. Okay. So, Virgo, 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 this is a really, really good space for you. This is a space where very quick solutions are coming about. So, Virgo, you may have been feeling like you got to a point where you literally just want to smash your head against the fucking wall because you had enough of things not working out. You had enough of things going south, um, you know, and... This is really, really cool because this is a space of a lot of new things that can come into your life, all right? Remember, the moon brings a sense of magic. So with the moon being in your space on May the 17th, it really is that start of that positive that's coming into your life, which is really, really cool. I really, really like that for you very, very much, all right? So um, even with ongoing matters, so let's say, um, you know... You have something that is just ongoing, 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 ongoing. It might have been going on for years. And you, you know, you kind of just found solace in it like that is how it's going to be. It's never going to change, my beautiful Virgos. This is a space in which it changes quickly, unexpectedly, and beautifully. All right? And you have got the star energy, which is a really, really cool energy to have. Because this is all about things really working out for you, beautiful, beautiful Virgo. This is a space where everything just flows in your favor. So that is really, really nice for you. I really, really like that for you very, very much. All right. Now, this is a nice one. Libra. Oh, my goodness. Libra. Power. Transformation. Change positive flow, new beginnings, issues being healed, moving. Um, it's somehow you really, really tap into this energy, my beautiful, beautiful Libras, where all the positives, let me see if I change this a bit because that's a little annoying. Um, you know, all these things that you may have been wanting to go for, you know, there's improvement of health, there's improvement of wealth, there's improvement of confidence, there's a sense of self. You may find yourself, not necessarily, it could be physically, it could be emotionally, mentally, it could be a sort of like a, you know, a mixture of them, all my beautiful, beautiful um, Libras. But this is a space where you might find yourself in a place that is, um, it's not like your, it's not like your usual everyday sort of territory. Something might be different. You know, but it's almost like there's a message in there for you. It's like life is really speaking to you. So really, really pay attention to the things that are coming your way today, my beautiful, beautiful Libra. Actually, over this next sort of like three to four days. Okay. 
Tarot card for you, you've got the Ace of Pentacles, so this is divine breakthrough. This is a divine opportunity. This is money. This is flow, my beautiful, beautiful Libras. So if you have got to a point where you have started to feel so despondent because nothing is working out, then this is actually really, really good news for you. Okay. Scorpio. Scorpio, there is a really, there's a sense of growth here, but there's a joint sense of growth. All right. So you may have been through a bit of experience where it might have kind of felt like your heart was put through the blender a little bit. You or maybe quite a lot. You had to try really, really hard to make things work, you know, and it, it kind of feels like you may have had a sense that despite your best effort, that everything was just not working out. Everything was so demotivating. Everything was so draining, my beautiful Scorpio. But this is a sense where everything just works out for you. Partnership, love, blessings, miracles, breakthroughs, you know, the right people at the right time. It's, it's, it's sort of like it just happens for you, Scorpio, which is really, really cool, you know, because you have been through a very difficult period and you've got the Princess of Pentacles. So there is also definitely a new beginning. It's a new start, all right? It's a beautiful new start there for you, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. What do we have for Sagittarius? So Sagittarius, um, there's a very healing energy coming in here for you. There is a space here where, you, where you're really getting to understand what you deserve. And that is actually coming in for you as well, you know. If you've been struggling with health, there's an improvement in health. If you've been struggling with finances, if you've been struggling with your kids, if you've been struggling to, like you see the dot, you see the dot, but you've got such trouble connecting the dots. This is a space where this is working out for you. So as a healing energy basically coming into your daily life. All right. So if you have been feeling very thinly spread and very overwhelmed and very drained and just very sort of blah, then this is a really, really good space for you, Sagittarius. And you've got the Knight of Pentacles. So there's a lot of Pentacles energy here that's coming out in this reading. And this is really, really amazing. And this energy is also letting you know, Sagittarius, that you don't have to run after anything. You don't have to try so hard to make anything work. Everything is really, really working out quite beautifully for your benefit without you actually needing to try all that hard to make things work. Capricorn. Capricorn, I like this. There's like a bit of a flirty energy coming in here for you. There's a lighter energy coming in here for you. Um, and, and so you want to actually recognize this. This is a time where you want to allow yourself to feel creative and light. And you want to daydream and you want to allow yourself to feel your emotions, you know. Um, and you also get sort of like in your heart of hearts what it is that you want. And when I say your heart of hearts, remember that you are also part of the universe. So what you get in here is also gotten up there, you know. So there is a real sense of things actually really just beautifully, beautifully working out for you, Capricorn, in better ways than you imagine. This could be a time when you can maybe meet that special person or you can realize to yourself, oh my goodness, this is not for me. So it could be a, step, a space of stepping towards and also stepping away. And of course, the two go hand in hand together. But generally speaking, this is very, very good news for you. And you've got the magician energy, which is creative energy. So you can create something beautiful, something new, something amazing for you. This is a really, really lovely space for you. And I like it very, very much. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius, such a cool thing. Such a cool thing. Um, you may have felt that your buttons were really, really pushed. It's almost like the universe was out to get you. You know, um, it can really feel that um, everything is just so heavy on your shoulders. And this is a beautiful space of immense healing for you. Um, really moving away from the past. Amazing evolution. It is, it is insanely incredible how good the energy is for you on this particular day, you know, um, my beautiful, beautiful Aquarius. It is just really, really so amazingly cool. Everything is getting better, home life getting better. And even if you've got like a, let, let's say you've got like a homebound business, for example. This is a space where you can really work out so well. So this is a time where you can get that unexpected sort of client, you know. And it could be that somebody contacts you on a Saturday and you would imagine, well, this, you know, I mean, the, the 18th of May is on a Saturday. And you can say to yourself, well, I don't really know. I mean, you know, how good could it possibly be? This is supposed to be a professional and they're calling me on a weekend. Don't go there. 
All right, I see beautiful things coming your way. No need to doubt it, no need to second guess it. I think that you've just been in a space where things have been so crazy for you for a while that um, you were sort of like in a sense of like, what is the point of anything anymore? You've got the six of swords. So keep on journeying through, keep on missioning through. I see some real support over here for you, especially in energy, you know? Um, I see a real higher sense, higher connection, higher unlocking, beautiful spiritual trans, um, sort of like transcending that is taking place here for you, Aquarius. So that is really, really cool for you. Okay. Pisces. Pisces, this is a space where, you know, you've got this natural curiosity. You actually want to exercise that curiosity. So a lot of times people might say, you know, can't you just leave things alone? Can't you just let things be? This is a time where you can really get into things, where you really get difficult concepts. So maybe you've been trying to, 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 to sort of like wrap your mind around something and you couldn't get it. This is a time where it just goes a click and it just snaps. And you're like, oh, you know, so really, really amazing opportunities. And even with the people around you, you know, so family, friends, and siblings, parents, loved ones, whatever. Everybody's really, you know, sort of like bringing something very positive to the table. And it might even be that something amazing doesn't happen for you, but it happens for someone around you. All right. If you can be genuinely happy for that person, you are also drawing that to yourself. Okay. Card for you is the two of ones. Changes, positive changes, movement, expansion, life getting better and better and better for you in really beautiful, beautiful ways. All right. And then in our closing message, so thank you so much for that. Remember, you want to look at your sun, moon, rising and ascending. Next reading that I'm looking forward to doing for you is for the full moon in Sagittarius, which is really, really great. Remember, I do the beautiful journey around it. You're more than welcome to, um, to contact me directly for it. Um, and I'm just really genuinely looking forward to it, you know. And... Um, to everybody as well, you know, with this massive solar flares that we had, it's been really, really crazy, but it also ushers us into a very positive direction. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for joining. I really appreciate that. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and I look forward to connecting with you on the next video.